What is going on everybody and welcome back to another product review and today we're going to be talking about a new product that just hit Walmart and um, I got my hands on it I needed to check this out and we're talking about Cremo Texture Paste everyone and we're going to check this out and we're going to see if it's any good so right off the bat let's get in right into the packaging. Alright everyone so let's talk about the packaging. And as you can see, the packaging is really nice. It's um, a plastic jar with an aluminum lid and um, it says Cremo on there, barber gray texture. It's a really nice lid, really fancy, really nice. It has the same in the front. On the back, it has a couple things. And then as you can see right there, it actually tells you the hold and the shine, which is a very high hold and a low shine. And then it has the ingredients on the back. So the packaging is really, really nice. And um, man, that's a really good job. All right, everybody, now that we talked about the packaging, let's go ahead and talk about the scent. So let's open this up. And right off the bat, the scent, I want to say it smells just like coconut oil. Even though um, I looked in the ingredients and I didn't find any coconut oil, it um, has a really, really high scent. Like, that's what it smells like to me like a vanilla ish coconut oil sort of smell. Um, it's kind of weird, but it's okay. I like it. It's not too bad. Okay, next we're going to be talking about the texture of the product. So let's go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, it has a real, really hard shape. So um, it, it's, it's almost like a fiber, as you can see. It's at the very beginning. It looks like it's really, really tough to get into. But as you start to get into it, you start to see it's almost fiber-like. So it, it's... So I want to say it's like really, really tough lotion, basically. I want to put that to, to me, I, I want to compare the texture to a fiber. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Just a little bit more lotion-y, but it's, it basically has the same, the same texture as a fiber. You get it and it breaks up really well in your hands. Once again, there's that coconut, um, scent. So, <laughs> but the texture is really nice. I really like the texture. It's a little sticky, but it still breaks up really well. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and get right into the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get around the dime size of it. There we go, that's on right. And just to let you guys know, I did put a little bit before as a pre solder and blow dryer to give me a little bit of volume. So let's, let's check this out. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit and rub it in. As you can tell, it breaks up really well, really easy. And let's go ahead and emulsify. Now it is a, real, a little bit sticky, so it's good to emulsify really good and it just disappears right in the hand. So let's get it in. And um, right off the bat, it, it does tug a little bit on the hair when your hair is dry. It's, my hair isn't very damp, so it is a little, little bit of tug. But as you can tell, it goes in real well and it's pretty good pretty nice and there you go put it over on the sides and it's not bad so as you can see guys this product works really really well so um, the application is awesome it goes in really smooth real nice it gets in your hair real nice and it seems to work pretty well, so I like it. Okay, everyone, I just want to talk about my final verdict on the product. And out of five, guys, one being the worst, five being the best, I want to give it a four. And the only reason that it doesn't get a five, it, it lacked one thing. Um, the scent was great. Texture was awesome. The application was good. I really like the packaging. It's really really nice But where it lags is the fact that it says it's a strong hold So I was really expecting it to be strong and it wasn't it was more of a medium I tried out the product the whole day and at first it's I want to compare it to like an American crew fiber It goes in really well and it holds really good at first as you can tell but as the day goes on your hair will start to fall and um, it, it almost like it has no holds. So it does, the good thing it does leave your hair 
really manageable, but I noticed that uh, during the whole day I was always, I kept picking it up with my fingers. So um, you, if you want it to stay up, you definitely need, you need to use hairspray with this product. That's the only downfall to it. Aside that, it would have got a five, but a four is great. This is an awesome product. Definitely recommend it. Um, I found it at Walmart for $9.99, but I'll go ahead and put a link below where you can get it and where you can buy this. This is a real awesome product. Definitely if you see it around Walmart, pick it up and try it out. Like I said, the only bad thing is it holds a little bad, but it still leaves your hair really nice and soft and smooth and manageable all day. So definitely give this a try. This is a great product by Cremo. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this video was informative. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.